money, you piece of shit! Don't you cops ever get bored with harassing successful entrepreneurs? Hey! This shit is rigged! That's a serious accusation, kiddo. Someone might think I would allow such illegal activity in my high-class business, which I do not. I get lost. You work for Soot. Tell me where to find him. You cops are giving me a stomach ulcer. Stop asking me about guys I don't know. Withholding information can lead to bigger trouble than a stomach ulcer. Look, I'm a busy man, so I'm going back to my office now. Why don't you join me there, and we'll talk. Oh, on second thought, you can't do that. Because you don't have a warrant, do you? What a douchebag. Come back with a warrant, cop. Have you witnessed the owner participating in any criminal activity? Are you kidding me? Half the things I've seen around here would be enough to put him behind bars for a decade. Let us hear your statement. No way, dude. He might be a douchebag, but if you lock him up, this place will get closed down and... Where am I supposed to play hooky then? School may seem now like a difficult option, but it will pay off in the future. Future? Look on the street. You must have a microwave for a brain if you think that. Colors, and there's not one but two of you. From now on, I promise I will cherish you more often.
a real life TJ laser? You are so incredibly shiny. I am definitely getting more of this stuff. Who sold you drugs? I really shouldn't say, but you are my TV hero, so. All right, all right. Uh, all of the arcade staff will sell to you, as long as you got cash. Unfortunately, I'm broke, but I have a great idea. You, you could help me sneak into the basement. They keep a huge stash of goodies down there. Drugs in the basement? I will take care of that. Would you really do that for me? Way to go, TJ! Is that the ocean? Open the door. I have the warrant. Oopsie. I think I dropped my key somewhere. You'd have to break down this hardened door if you want to get in. That will not be a problem. Surrender your weapons. No chance! Light him up! Open the door, or you will regret it. Can't, can't a guy just sell drugs to kids without you harassing him every five minutes? Who, who am I hurting, huh? They all want it. Where do I find soot? Well, if that's the case, shut it, bozo! Unless you want to end up in the ghost house like that cop's informant! And don't you dare open that door, I'll shoot you! One of you is not a real torchhead but just an imitator. 
I knew there was something off about you. Me? It's you. I always suspected you never went through initiation. Take that back! Or what? You hot-headed bastards! For fuck's sake, don't shoot! I'm gonna open the door! Tell me, where can I find Soot? Straight to business, huh? Looks like you're my type of guy. But even if I wanted to help you, I can't. Only his closest people know his whereabouts. I just distribute his stuff, and to be completely honest, I don't want or need to know more than when the next shipment is coming. You must know the location they mentioned. Tell me where they took the police informant. And if I tell you, what's in it for me? Does everything you do have to come with a benefit? I'm a businessman. That's the only language I speak. How about the value of your life? Who would care more to save it, police or soot? Let's say I'm convinced. They've taken him to the ghost house. It's what they call one of their sites. From what I've gathered, it's that big, burned-down building a bit down the road. Anyway, that's all I know. That will have to suffice for now. Stay here. Dispatch. Requesting a squad car. Those people on the first floor are paranoid. They put blinds in the windows. Can't watch the TV no more. You need to be taught some math.
Are you the police informant? Do you know where I can find Soot? Uh, oh man, all great questions, but um, could you untie me first? They really outdid themselves with these knots. Talk. Hey, I, I don't know how you usually operate, but that type of information don't come free. What is your freedom worth to you? <laughs> That's actually a great point. So, it seems that the new guy saw the punks attack on the TV station and decided to meet with Soot on their turf. The meeting is supposed to take place tonight during Soot's concert. Concert? I know. I'm not really a fan of his music myself. But that's not what those shows are really about. Why don't we, uh, get out of here, huh? Lewis. Soot is meeting the new guy tonight at the old slaughterhouse. Copy that. Pick me up at the station. I'll grab my gear. By the way, I've got something for you, Murphy. They call me Pickles. Eh, and you guessed it. There's a funny story behind that name. This one time, I saw Torchhead stealing a delivery truck. I went after them, hoping that a VCR would fall off the back of the truck, you know? But it turned out to be groceries, so they left it. I made a pretty penny that day selling pickles. Still have a couple of jars laying around if you want them. So you are an opportunist. Hey, I prefer street entrepreneur. You know what they say, a good business is where you find it. Nice to be free again. Thanks, Tin Man. Hey, uh, did Briggs tip you off that I might be here? Officer Briggs? Yeah, he's my police go-to guy. Officer Briggs is missing. Missing? Shit. May our city have mercy on him. How do you know Officer Briggs? Ah, uh, we go back a long way. He gave me a helping hand when I hit rock bottom. And I've been in his debt ever since. He even introduced me to his family. Great kid and wife, though. His missus don't seem very fond of me. You seem proficient in undertaking police tasks. Ever thought of making a living out of it? <laughs> oh, no. One thing you should know about me. I love cops. You know, law enforcement, laws, all of that. I think those are great ideas. But so is Nuke. And when I need it, I tend to forget about the other stuff. So, you know what they say. You can only serve one master. Do you think Briggs is in trouble? I really don't know. Last time I saw him, he was going to check a case of missing bodies. Sounded like a bogus lead, so I didn't press him. He always tells me to be careful when getting info. But the truth is, I'm not the one running around gangsters' paradise dressed in blue. Need to go. Duty awaits. Uh, uh, about that. I've got a favor to ask. I know that Briggs is missing, but I've got something that belongs to him. He must have misplaced it the last time he visited my crib. And it's 
kind of weighing me down. What is it? It's his wristwatch. Now, I feel bad holding on to it. Could you please give it back to his family? This is stolen property, and you expect me to return it? Gee, it sounds bad when you say it like that, but still, you shouldn't let me hold on to expensive things. That's how I ended up in this situation in the first place. I will make sure they receive it from the repentant thief. Oh boy, you're a tough negotiator. But surely you don't mean now. I gotta chillax after all this. I have more urgent matters on hand. Meet me later at Briggs Place. Yeah, you gotta save the city. That's fine by me. I'll see you later. <laughs>